Jungle Explorer here and today I'm going to be showing you this little um, mini flashlight style camera that I bought. I'm going to be putting this on my shotgun um, and using it to film my dove hunts this year. And I've been looking for some time for this style of camera because it's really the only style that actually fits really well on a shotgun. And um, I really am excited to try to get this out in the field and see what it does. Um, there's a, a couple other cameras on the market that are for actual hunting and um, they're by, made by Shotcam and Tacticam, but they run in the hundreds of dollars and, and uh, you know, that's just a little too far out of my, my price range. But um, this camera runs about 60 bucks. Um, it's got a metal body. It's the right shape to clamp onto the barrel. Um, and so I really think it's going to do well. I hope it does. Um, I've used the GoPro style cam cameras in the past and they work okay, but they make everything look so far away that you can't hardly, looks like you're shooting mosquitoes. So um, hopefully this camera will do a little better. I'm going to get it out of the box here and I'm going to um, see what we got in the box and then I'm going to hook it to my gun and take it out and do some, some hunting with it. So um, let's do that. So let's take a look at this and uh, just open this box up and see what comes in the box with the camera. Okay, so let's see here. Here's the little camera right here. Now the one thing, you might say, well, what's so unique about this camera? Uh, there's several camera, this is kind of what we call a barrel cam. It looks kind of like a shotgun barrel or a flashlight camera. Looks like a little handheld flashlight. Uh, this round style, there are some other styles of this out here, but let me show you what's really different and what makes this one unique. Is this 120 degree field of vision, field of view right there, okay? Um, most of the other barrel size ones or the flashlight style little uh, cameras, action cams, uh, are going to be 170 to 180 degree. Um, and what that's going to do is it, it, that's a fisheye effect. So essentially you're stretching reality. So unless something's really close to you, it's going to look a lot smaller than it actually is in real life. And so you don't get an actual um, real representation of uh, what uh, real life is. This, this camera is the only one I've been able to find that has this 120 degree field of view, which is gonna be a lot closer to what it really looks like in real life with your, with your, with your own eyes. And for my purposes, I really want that because my intention is to use this actually on a gun barrel in, uh, in uh, you know, shooting circumstances and I want a real life view of what I'm seeing and you know your, your action cameras like your GoPros and those action style cameras that have the 170 or 160 degree field of view uh, they really don't work for that situation because they have that wide angle fisheye lens everything in the distance appears extremely small and uh, not clear so, so let's go ahead and, and uh, continue We've got here a um, pull this open. Uh, this is an arm strap or something. Not sure. It's just a basically a strap to strap it to something, uh, like a tree or something like that. Um, we have a bicycle mount for it. That's good. Uh, a USB cable has a little, uh, win little window or dash stick-on mount here, and this this mount right here for uh, basically allowing you to put it on a tripod. Um, get it out of this package. Here we go. This this would allow you to, to actually put it on a tripod. Anyways, Anyways. Uh, also has a strap, and let's see. That's that's it. So you've got your 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 dash or your little sticky mount here um, your strap mount your bicycle mount and this tripod mount thing here so that's that's good has a, a few good accessories on it well I'm gonna 
put this into some use here in the next couple days. I'm going to be going dove hunting tomorrow and hopefully put it into use there. And so we'll get some live action uh, footage with that and we'll see how it does there. Um, and then I'll come back and uh, after I've done some video testing, I'll show you what it's done. Hope you enjoyed that nice exciting dove hunting video there. I know I did. Um, first time I got to go hunting this year and there happened to be a lot of birds out there so that was pretty exciting. So now back to the camera. How do you think it did? Well I think it did pretty good honestly. I was I was quite surprised. It held up well. The buttons all worked. It did pretty good. Um, obviously I was using two cameras. I was using the SJ Cam SJ7 Star. Um, alongside this um, and the reason I did that was uh, so that you could kind of get an idea of how both of them would perform. Um, now it's not fair to compare this to the SJ uh, Star, uh, SJ7 Star because um, this is a $50 camera and the SJ7 Star is a $170 camera so more than three times the price. Um, it has uh, some higher quality components, uh, a Sony sensor and stuff like that, which this doesn't have. But that being said, I think it did fairly well. I think it did pretty good. Um, you know, it, uh, the footage, I did a couple of, uh, you know, editing gymnastics with the footage. Um, uh, there towards the middle and the end, I zoomed in on a couple of them. And the reason I did that was I kind of wanted you to see what would happen to the video once you cropped it and, and expanded a little bit. Um, there's not a whole lot of room for, for cropping on this, but you know, I did crop up to 50, 40 percent um, or 60 percent, and, and you know, it wasn't good quality video, but you could still tell what was going on. So uh, you have a little wiggle room on what you can do with the, the footage that this takes. It's not, you know, you can't, it's not like you can't zoom in a little bit, um, it can be done if you have the editing software to do it. So um, I just thought I'd throw that kind of stuff in there just, you know, so kind of have a, a whole, you know, whole uh, complete circle of what you can do with it. I, I'm gonna keep the camera, I'm gonna use it. 
Um, I think it's a, a good deal for the price. Uh, this one's much better than the one I bought two years ago. It still has some things that need to get better, but uh, you know, it's it's a good good little camera, and it fills that that niche that I needed to fill. Um, so you know, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, please like, subscribe, and comment. And uh, you know, if you do subscribe, remember to tick the little bell uh, down uh, next to the subscribe button. Until next time, The Jungle Explorer signing out.